2018 CDL General Knowledge Exam, practice, study questions, and answers. So you see the question, reaction distance is the distance traveled from the time. And then one of these is the correct answer. Okay. So the way I'm going to present my video is I'm going to read the question and then I'm going to show you the correct answer uh, as indicated by this giant green dot here. And then I will further verify that that is the correct answer by going to the next slide which shows this is the correct answer as you can see here correct answer I'll read that and then I'll proceed to the next question so that's an example of how I will proceed with the format of this video You must inspect your cargo after every break, every three hours or 150 miles, before starting. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. Tie downs must be of the proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie downs must be strong enough to fit one and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. That is correct. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Which of these is important to check before driving in the winter? Exhaust. That is correct. Exhaust. Tank vehicles are used to carry any liquid and are dangerous to drive because danger of load surge. High center of gravity. Shifting of the load occurs. All of these are true. That is correct. All of these are true. Gross vehicle weight rating, GVRW, means the following. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle, including its load. That is correct. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle, including its load. Gross vehicle weight GVW means the following. The total weight of a single vehicle, including its load. That is correct. The total weight of a single vehicle, including its load. Prior to driving, what are some of the items you should check the interior of the bus for? School books and student belongings, a student or other passengers, trash and clothing. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. How far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pickup location? 
One half mile. That is correct. One half mile. There are three types of vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? Post trip. En route. Pre trip. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Brake pads should not have brake fluid on them. One missing leaf in the leaf spring can be dangerous. Brake shoes should be at least 1 32nd inch thick. All of these are true. That is correct. All of these are true. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four lane divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. That is correct. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Which of these is a good driving rule for work zones? Turn on your flashers, hazard lights. Use your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Drive slowly. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. Underloaded front axles can cause the following. Too much play in the steering wheel. Poor traction. Damage to the tires. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. Dry bulk tanks require special care because the load can shift. They have a high center of gravity. Both of these are true. That is correct. Both of these are true. Overloading can cause a bad effect on speed control, steering, braking. All of these are correct. That is true. All of these are correct. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs. That is correct. Two tie downs. As part of your pre-trip inspection, you must check for poorly balanced weight, check if the cargo is secured, check for overloads. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. Which item below list almost all or all the emergency equipment that is required on a school bus? A fire extinguisher, a flashlight, 
fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangle, and a first aid kit with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. That is correct. A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, a first aid kit with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Overloading can damage the vehicle. All of these are true. That is correct. All of these are true. You must drive on a slippery road. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Slow down gradually. That is correct. Slow down gradually. Brake fade can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. That is correct. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. The biggest problem with a broken exhaust system is that it may let poison fumes into the vehicle's cab. True. That is correct. True. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? Federal and state regulations require that you inspect your vehicle. Safety for yourself and others. A vehicle defect found during inspection can save you problems later. All of these are correct. That is true. All of these are correct. You should have a minimum of blank tread on your steering tires. 430 seconds inch. That is correct. 430 seconds inch. When taking a break in the middle of your trip, you should check critical items such as tires, brakes, and cargo tie downs. That is correct. Critical items such as tires, brakes, and cargo tie downs. Which of these is correct regarding brake shoes? Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. That is correct. Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. What item should be checked for safety on a steering column? Steering arm should not have missing bolts, missing nuts, or missing cotter keys. That is correct. Steering arms should not have missing nuts, missing bolts, or missing cotter keys.
Measuring BAC, blood alcohol concentration, is done by measuring a person's body weight. That is correct, body weight. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not fully operate or be operational. That is correct. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. When getting in to start the engine and inspect the inside of the cab, you must make sure the parking brake is on and put the gear shift in neutral or park if automatic. Start the engine and listen for unusual noises. Both of these answers are correct. That is correct. Both of these answers are correct. When preparing to do a pre-trip inspection, you must check to see that the parking brakes are on and or chalked. True. That is correct. True. The oil pressure gauge should come up to normal within how long after starting the engine? That is correct. Seconds. You should check the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Steering wheel and transmission controls. Accelerator, brakes, and clutch pedal. Both of these answers are correct. That is correct. Both of these answers are correct. After inspecting mirrors and windshield for cracks, dirt, and illegal stickers or other obstructions to your vision, you should Clean and adjust as necessary. That is correct. Clean and adjust as necessary. When checking lights, you should make sure that the parking brake is set, turn off your engine and take the key with you, turn on the headlights and four way flashers. All of these are correct. That is correct. All of these are correct. What should the wheel bearing seals be checked for? Hub oil level and no leaks. That is correct. Hub oil level and no leaks. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? Three. That is correct. Three. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. That is correct. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? For your safety. That is correct, for your safety. To avoid roll box when you start, you should Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. That is correct. 
partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake.